For over two decades, we focused on one philosophy, the 10 life values, a system that helps us examine our lives, our vision, our leadership. Our products and our services are exclusively for men, all men. The ones who teach and mentor our kids, maintain our livestock and grow our food, make and repair our products, saves us from catastrophe and protect our nation. The 10 life values are woven into every product and service we create. Because at the end of the day, our vision is to see all men from every community equipped with the appropriate processes and the necessary tools to be excellent fathers and the best version of themselves they can be. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform. Much love, and we back with another video. And in this video, I want to let brothers know that the conscious community is anti-black male progress. I just want to come out and say it. They're anti-black male progress. They do not seek to empower or to help black men move on in life. How do we know this? Let's look at the results. A lot of the guys that we have here in the black manosphere, a lot of those guys either know guys from the conscious community has been, has partake partaken in the conscious community at some point. Or they've the conscious community. They simply just supported it. And a lot of black men supported the conscious community back in the early to mid 2000s because a lot of black men had hope in the conscious community because we understand that we have to have our own band of brothers. And initially, that is what a lot of us thought the conscious community was about. We thought the conscious community was about healing, building, promoting families, promoting legacy. This is some of the stuff some of the guys that got on there spoke about. But we thought that that was part of the SOS of the men who created the conscious community. See, you could get guys to come on your platform and say whatever they're going to say, but are you living what these guys are talking about on your platform? Because the people you bring on your platform is supposed to represent what your platform represents. You see, so for a long time, a lot of us brothers believed that the conscious community was actually going to be something. And the reason why it was really supported heavily by a lot of black men is because it was ran by a black man. It was ran by a black man. So if it was ran by us. It was created by us. A lot of us younger brothers, we thought that it was actually going to grow into being something. This is why a lot of brothers not only followed the conscious community, but they even tried to join some of the communities. This is why you had a lot of brothers um, trying to become Moors. And trying to uh, become sovereign and get this paperwork that they were um, promoting. A lot of brothers became Hebrew Israelites. A lot of brothers joined the new covenant. 
See, this stuff happens because men are looking for some place to belong and to have a purpose that's bigger than them. See, a man understands that his purpose is supposed to outlive him. You see, and this is why I say the conscious community is anti-black male progress. Because the men who participated in the conscious community, look at them. The people who, who were full supporters of the conscious community, a, a lot of them today are living a regular life. They have a regular nine to five. They're still working in a system that they know is against them. So this is why I say it's anti-black male progress because a lot of black men have stayed stagnant for all those years dealing with the conscious community. A lot of those years, brothers could have took those years and done other things with them, including myself. Now, I don't regret getting the information because the information is going to last if you do something with it. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of guys out here that had to go back to the drawing board and figure it out because a lot of us felt like the conscious community was actually going to be something for brothers to say, this is ours. This is ours. This is for black men. This was created by black men and it's for black men and it's going to stay in the hands of black men. But when you look at the results, a lot of brothers are in prison. A lot of brothers are unhealthy and they sickly. A lot of brothers, like I said, a lot of those brothers, you don't even see them no more. You don't know what's going on with them. If we are going to have something for brothers, it needs to promote the agency of black men. It needs to promote the healing and building of black men and actually be doing it in real time. Not just sitting around talking about it in a debate. Not sitting around trying to be trying to prove who's intellectually superior. But at the end of the day, we still both walk away having to go home and feed our babies. And feed our women. See, a lot of us wasted a lot of goddamn time. A lot of us neglected ourselves dealing with the conscious community. We neglected ourselves. We allow ourselves to be fooled into thinking that these black men were actually here to help us. When you can clearly see now that they're not here to help anyone but themselves. They're only here to help their pockets. And they used us. They used us and they want to continue to. That's why they keep promoting debates. That's why they keep promoting debates. Because they don't care about black men. They only care about furnishing their pockets. And if you and if you're silly enough to go over there and support that, then that's on you. See, now it's at a play at your own risk thing where before, let's say 10, 15 years ago, you had brothers in a conscious community who, who would actually step up and be like, no, brother, that's not what's up. See, the original beef behind the whole 
Kim it on trial stuff and the debates that you see going on in the conscious community today, it simply came from the Israelites speaking up against the comedics and telling them, brothers, y'all need to stop lying to black people out here. Stop lying to our black men. This is what the whole debate thing started from. The Hebrew Israelites correcting brothers and telling brothers, y'all are teaching these brothers poison. You're leading these guys astray. You're leading these guys to destruction. You're aiding in their failure. This is what the Israelites were saying. He was saying by Sarnetta TV and Black News 102 promoting comedic science and all of the things surrounding it, that that stuff was not going to be beneficial for black men. This is what their premise was and why they wanted to debate it because the Kemet on trial debate was simply about what spiritual system was best for black people? Should we follow the comedics or should we follow the Bible? That's what it was about. Now, I do agree that the comedic information is useful. It's vital. It's something that we all need to know. It is something that we can go back and we can use as a resource to cross-reference of the information. You see? But how has that information transformed into a system that can help black men? <laughs> and that's what we need to be focused on. That's what needs to be established. What is going to work for us and what have been working. And that is where the conscious community dropped the ball at because they never could show us where all this stuff that they're talking about is actually working. Or are you just selling tickets? You see, are you just selling us edutainment? This is why today you have some of your prominent speakers with regular jobs. You have some of your prominent speakers still hustling and selling their little t-shirts and, and just trying to make it. Because the conscious community was never set up for black men to win. It was set up for black men to hustle each other. It was set up for black men to backbite each other. Now, am I saying originally that's what it was created for? No. No. But over time, that's how everything was spent was set up. We're going to get these guys on. We're going to create confusion and chaos so they could start arguing so our numbers could go up so we can profit off of black men making themselves look like fools. So we can profit off of black men not knowing how to just sit down and have a conversation. We're going to make money off of this. This is what the conscious community has turned into over time. And we have to understand that that is anti-black male progress. Sitting around debating about shit, but you, you still having problems feeding yourself and feeding your children. That's anti-black male progress. That is against what we're promoting. 
which is black men becoming the best versions of themselves. See, but you can't do that when you don't have systems, order, and structure. When you don't have a value system. See, when you practice a lost value system, this is why you have what you have. A bunch of hoopla. And a bunch of black men who are profiting off of it. And who think that it's okay. But they're going to find out in the end when they pay their own price. You see? Because purposefully going out and doing things to harm black men, you won't receive good karma for it. Trust and believe that. Misleading black men and doing all the things that the conscious community has done over the years to black men and black men doing it to each other in the conscious community. And we see it time and time again, year after year after year. And y'all trying to tell me that the conscious community isn't anti-black male? Progress? How? Show me where it promotes our progress. Show me where. Anytime a young man tried to come up there, they shut him down. They tried to make him get in line. They tried to make him fall under, fall up under them. It is because the conscious community is anti-black male progress. We're going to use the men and get, and get their money. And then we're going to come back and flaunt their money in their face and tell them they don't have nothing. This is what the conscious community has already been doing for years. But then you got a guy like Sinetta that'll come out and say, oh, well, you know, I'm totally separating myself from Brother Polite because I'm I'm getting back to the information. I'm getting back to teaching. Teaching what? How to be divisive? Teaching what? What are you teaching? What are you getting back and teaching? You don't teach anything, Sonetta. And the people that go on your platform don't teach nothing. All those debates are is a penis measuring contest. That's all it is. We're going to see, we going to see which peacock going to win. And that in itself is anti-black male progress. We're not going to progress like that, brothers. We're not going to progress continuing to promote a community that has been destroying black men the past 15 years. No stars has come out of the conscious community and have done nothing. Name me one person from the conscious community that own anything at this point. We know Brother Polite don't because he a scammer. So we know he don't own shit. Next. I'm talking about in real time on the ground. And these men got money from us for years. Just siphoned money out of us for years. Just siphoned money out of us for years. To make us believe that this is who they are. We dealing with black devils. That's who we dealing with. And this is why the men that come out the conscious community is still where they are because they was a, they were a part of something that never was about their upliftment. So make sure y'all like, make sure y'all share, make sure y'all subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to all of the visionaries. Salute to the A-game family. Shout out to the A-game nation. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace.
We're A Game, a 100% black owned company with an all natural product and world class customer service. We're headquartered in California and we manufacture, package, and ship right here in the United States. We ship to more than 125 distributors worldwide. Normal processing is two to three days and we employ virtual tracking until our product is received. So, no matter where you are in the world, here we come and we're bringing your A-game.